so is it it's weird part on the sleeve playing and you wouldn't want it any other way when it comes to the romance from the movie the gadfly film score by dimitri shostakovich is it weird <clears throat> i just had this thought go through my head <sighs> yeah here i go again no seriously i'm always just kind of thinking processing examining things whatever and is it weird to me that or is it weird for me to say that i feel like sometimes life is the narcissist that life in general is like a damn narcissistic i mean sometimes does it not feel that way as much as i love life and i'm grateful to be alive and does it not feel sometimes do you ever get in a situation where you feel like it's a big joke like what the f you know think about that i think life is the narcissist sometimes because okay for me personally my perspective i feel like i have all of these emotional and spiritual lessons to learn and I've been seeing it like this for most of my life, more and more as I've gotten older and had what I felt like were several spiritual awakenings, several dark nights of the soul, that whole process. I, you know, every few years I can see things in a drastically different light than I did in the years prior. That's called growth. Yeah, that's normal. We usually emotionally evolve in our emotional intelligence and many of us in our spiritual intelligence. We grow and evolve um, in different levels of consciousness um, and we ascend the dimensions of consciousness, whatever. And um, <clears throat> the older I get, the more I see, you know, the more this happens to me and I start to realize things in a really profound way. But to some people, it might seem weird. It even seems weird to me, some of the things that run across my mind. Man, the clouds are so beautiful. Look at that. Can y'all see that, or is it just sun? I love cloudy days like this. Wow. Anyway, I hope y'all can see that. Anyway, so the thought that ran across my mind, though, is that, yes, we're always being jerked around. Think about it. I don't know if anybody else will see it this way, but for me, it, it kind of makes sense. Life is like a narcissist. It's like some big, I don't know what thought I'm trying to express here. Not that I'm saying that God or higher powers or the universe is like some puppet master pulling strings and doing things to us or no, but I'm just saying that, I mean, what if we did choose it? What if we chose to incarnate? What if we all, you know, the certain people in our life, what if we did plan a lot of this? What if it was, what if life is like a school? And this is some of my spiritual talk, and I love it, okay? This shit resonates with me pretty deeply. Um, but at the same time, it's just thoughts. I don't live by it every second, every minute. I am a critical thinker, okay? But think about it. What if, it's, what if life is just school? What if it is, this is where we come and we do these lessons and we set all of this up. We chose it. We wrote it. We needed to plan it. There are certain hard things we needed to go through. I think about that a lot, you know, and I think to myself, Jesus, if I wrote some of this shit, what a cruel dr joke that I played on myself or wrote for myself a great deal of the time. Damn. Um, but there's just a lot of different thoughts and theories, and I, I like to examine things like that. It doesn't mean that that's exactly what I believe to the letter, but I got to thinking about it. Life, what a fucking narcissist you are. It jerks us around to a degree. It's like, okay, energy, for instance. Until you get this particular lesson mastered, and you get above that level of energy, not while you're faking it, not while you're just telling yourself, I got this, I feel better now, but when it really resonates with you and you are living your life according to being in that energy of, I feel better now, not just pretending you feel better now and moping along your day and faking it. Each time you master a new lesson, whatever that lesson is in your life, then all of a sudden, 
life gives you what you wanted way before you ever mastered that lesson and you're like well now I don't want it I wanted it then why did you take it from me then you took it from me then and it wasn't until oh okay it wasn't until I got here now here it comes again that very thing that I wanted so badly before when I was on this other level of consciousness and in this other energy. And boy, it would have been so good if I could have had it then. I just was obsessed with it and I just knew I had to have it and it, it nearly killed me getting over it. And then you get to another level of consciousness and it's available to you. But then what? You know, I, I, I think about things like this. This just ran across my mind, and I see things like this happening. Um, and sometimes it does feel like life is jerking our fucking chain, doesn't it? Like, what? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? This is my worst nightmare. You're kidding me. I have to walk through this. This is really happening to me. Oh my God, you know, this, these are some of the things I never in a million years wanted to have to go through. These are some of the specific things I wanted to avoid. Oh my God. Okay. I got to walk right through this. I have to do this. That kind of thing happens. And I could give you some more specific examples of things that I've seen and things that have happened to me that make me think this way, but I've got to go in here and pick up an order, but I'll, I'll do a part two to this and get more into this because it's interesting to me. Um, I don't know if anybody else, you know, sees things like this or thinks like this, but yeah, it does. It sometimes it does feel like life is a fucking narcissist just jerking our chain. Like, oh, well, you know, you can have this, um, but only if you do this, this, and this, and then, you know, once you do all of that work, um, or it, it, it seems to pull things away from us, and um, just when we get over it finally, and we've done all of that work, and we've changed our life, and we're not even thinking about it anymore, it brings it back to us, or gives it to us again, you know, uh, okay, shit like that. It's just kind of funny to me, but I think, I think there is something to that. I think that it is all about mastering those energetic levels. I think it is about mastering those certain emotional and spiritual lessons that we came here for and ascending the levels of consciousness. Absolutely. I think that's what it's for. And once we get certain things mastered, then we are given you know, I, I think it's like that. I could explore this more deeply, and I will um, here pretty soon. But I'm just thinking, it, it, like, in terms of energy, I had a really good example, and it shot right out of my head. Um, codependency has been one of my major life lessons. On a psychological wavelength, Yes, coming from trauma, my programming, and looking at it from that perspective, I have all of my life needed to work on my codependency issues. And it's given me a lot of trouble and pain. Um, and so, that ties into this whole thing about mastering energy levels and... You know, life will give you someone or give you something and it'll be all of this deep love and everything will be just right except for there's a barrier there. And if you can't master that barrier, everything falls apart and it's taken from you. And then you have to do all of this energetic work, all this crap to get yourself over it. And I've seen cases like this happen a million times. Um... You know, you have to get yourself in alignment and do all this healing work. And then once that work is done, it's like you don't even, there's just something about it. Like maybe you're not supposed to have it. 
exactly what you want at certain times in that desperate energy. I've thought about this very deeply. Like, why is it on so many occasions that we are not getting what we want when we want it? Like, when we're in the mood or when we're so in love or when we're so hurt and these things don't show up, they flee from us. This energy, it's all about energy, I think, a lot of it. Or that job we really wanted or that opportunity and, oh, you know, it would have been so great right then when I wanted it in that energy. But I've had to learn a lot about energy and grasping and desperation all of that is a very negative type of energy it actually does more harm than good it obsessive grasping overdoing it actually it's just an energetic law it actually pushes shit away from us more than it brings it to us and these are just kind of I don't know, laws of the universe, laws of energy. I don't know what the fuck they are, but they are things that I have realized just living life and going through hardships and going through experiences and doing emotional and spiritual work. These are things that I have realized. These are just, it's just wisdom, energetic wisdom to me. And I tried to pass this along to someone else that I deeply cared about in the very beginning of our situation. I said, listen, you know, we don't need to get too graspy, clingy. I see that we both have these tendencies and I see what it, I know what it comes from. Although that may look like hot shit to people on the surface, obsession and I'll die without you and oh my god, possession and clingy. I went through all of that for years and years and years. And a great deal of that had to do with childhood trauma. If you really knew what was behind that obsessive man or that obsessive woman, if you really knew what was behind all of that control and jealousy and um, I just have to be with you, I'm so lonely. And if you knew really what was behind all of that, if you could strip that mask away, you would see a very wounded little child. You would see a child who has been abused, beaten, hurt, ridiculed, shamed, abandoned, um, crying out for their parents, the parents... Um, making them feel less than or not important or even sexual trauma. Um, you would see a lot behind people who have a lot of these issues, okay? Not always, but you get what I'm saying. And so, yes, I've intellectually understood stuff like this for years. Now, have I always emotionally been able to stick to it and follow through with it? No, because I have my own trauma. I have my own demons and shit. I cannot always stick to it. I relapse. I fall back into things and situations that have to play out like any other human. But intellectually, I've always been aware of this type of thing. The more you grasp, cling, desperate, own, control, any of those, that is a very powerful energy and it will repel it will run away what you are trying to have close to you. And it, it's, not, it's, not, it's not an intellectual thing. It's not that they're going, oh, well, you're doing this, so bye. I'm going to run from you. No, no, no. It's beyond all that. It's just the fucking law. It's just an energetic law that you... And I was always trying to get this through to somebody that I loved so much and wanted him to know that it's not me. I don't make this shit up. I didn't, it's not me doing it. It's just, it is what it is. So just don't do it. Please just work on yourself, work, get control of some of that. Because while you in an immature mentality, you may think that's all fun and hot and yada, yada, yada. It's not, it's not. And it's going to fuck up all of your relationships. It's going to fuck up everything that you really want to be close to you, that you want to attract to you. It is going to push it all farther away just because you're in that energy field. That's it. Not because you decide it has nothing to do with, oh, well, I'll outsmart it. I'll trick it. I'll pretend like I don't want it. I'll pretend you can't fucking outsmart energy. 
tried to tell you that. You can't, and I try to tell myself this shit too. I know. You can't outsmart energy. And I know to some people this will sound flaky as fuck, but it is what it is. Like, think about it. Pay attention to shit like this and you'll see. But yeah, no, you cannot outsmart energy. You're not going to manipulate it. You have to do the work. That's the only time it's going to let up on you. Until then, it's like some of us are on that course, man. You will be life's bitch. And it will kick your fucking ass. <laughs> I'm just saying. It is what it is, you know? And yes, sometimes life does seem like some narcissistic jerk. Like, what? I did all this work just to overcome. Yeah, like my last relationship, for instance. Like, a lot of times I can see things in different dimensions at once. And, and, it, and it can be maddening. Like, okay, I live, okay, I'm on this dimension, and here's how we all interact here, and this is what things have to look like here and how they go down. But on a much higher level, in a higher dimension of consciousness, oh, it's for this purpose and this purpose, and this needs to be learned, and this energy needs to be mastered in order for it to resolve itself here and look a certain way here. Oh, yeah, I see things in a lot of different dimensions at once, all playing out together. And it can drive you mad once you start waking up to the fact that we are multidimensional. Um, yeah, you, you really have to hold on to yourself when that starts happening. That's been happening to me more and more in the last year or two. Um, but for instance, getting into that last relationship, not that I don't believe that we weren't, that we were, we were, we were connected strongly. I loved that person genuinely. And I do believe that he loved me too. Now, the fact that we had all these different energetic barriers and traumas and wounds and all kinds of shit going on, addictions, that was in our way. But there was love. There was love between us. Um, but what that relationship actually ended up doing on a different level, which I didn't want to see it. I didn't want to admit it. I didn't want it to be that. I just wanted what I wanted. I wanted my relationship to work. But on a much higher level, that relationship came and it was giving me the opportunity to break my codependency curse. To once and for all, it was like the absolute full circle to the whole chapter from birth 